We've scanned machines. We found live IP addresses, live MAC addresses. We've port scanned. We've interrogated services, but now we need to get just a little bit more information. And that's where enumeration comes in. So let's talk about enumeration. We have some objectives that you can describe it. You can give information obtained from enumeration. You can describe various techniques and also list some countermeasures. So here's what we're going to talk about. Enumeration concepts, NetBIOS enumeration, SNMP enumeration, LDAP enumeration, NTP enumeration, SMTP and DNS enumeration, the countermeasures, and using it in pen testing. So let's start with what is enumeration. Let's start with the concepts. Enumeration is getting extra information out of a machine. And you do it by further querying a service. So most machines, most computers, most servers, or things running some kind of server service, they're going to listen on SMB, uh, SMTP if they're an email server. Uh, they might have SNMP running. Um, they might be a DNS server. They might be a SQL server. They might be this and that kind of server. You can usually query these services to get lists of users, groups, policy, um, uh, information about interfaces, information about hardware, information about email addresses, and the list goes on. And that's what we're trying to do with enumeration. And the trick with enumeration is we're trying to do it without logging into that service. Sometimes you get a whole lot more, obviously, if you log in. But sometimes we can do it without logging in. We can still elicit information just by interacting with the service the way it normally functions. So enumeration, this is a process of gathering information. And we want to get information about hosts and devices and usernames and all sorts of stuff. We can use ICMP, SNMP, and many other protocols for this purpose. What we're trying to do is we'll, we'll have an interactive active connection, but it's interactive to some kind of system. We'll send queries to one of the uh, ports, one of the services, to try to elicit information out of it. And then we use that information to further determine what our attack is going to be, including possibly password attacks if we find out usernames or other things. So the kinds of information you're going to get, stuff about the network, including computers and shares, routing tables, service settings, audit settings, um, SNMP and DNS information, uh, machine names, users and groups, including email addresses, applications and banners. And actually, a lot of stuff can be enumerated, even more than this. We're going to see that. So how do we enumerate? Well, we first of all, we, we talk to the service in a way that it understands. And um, we can do some enumerating just manually using a command prompt, but we're better off using a tool like a script or uh, some other tool uh, that knows how to query this service. So we could maybe get email IDs just by testing uh, an email server. So like we could go to an email server on a command prompt and we could just send a few commands that are typical of SMTP like recipient or um, verify or expand, and just see if it gives us back information. Like we could say recipient to and then guess a name, and it'll tell us that name exists or doesn't exist. Or we could say expand and see uh, and provide like a distribution list name and see if it'll just give us the list of all the users that are part of that, that distribution list. Or we could uh, use uh, SNMP and we could uh, create a um, uh, an SNMP manager to use a management information base, a MIB, and basically walk through all of the questions and see what the thing gives us back. We could use DNS to uh, request a, a lookup or a zone transfer. Um, we can use NetBIOS to see if the thing will give us its name, its domain name, its workgroup name, any logged on users, um, any groups. So we can use email and SNMP to extract information. Uh, we can also possibly, if we can identify the operating system or the service, that'll tell us default passwords. 
and assuming no one has changed anything, then we can just try using those defaults. We could use Active Directory um, LTAP enumeration to try to get users in groups and operating systems and, and um, you know, client uh, machines and um, uh, organizational units. Or we could query DNS and even try to get the whole uh, DNS zone, meaning the whole database, for a particular um, uh, DNS uh, server or for a particular domain. So like, for example, here, um, I just, let me zoom in on this example. Here, we're using a Python script, SMTP user enum, which, by the way, there's also an nmap script uh, for that. And um, we're just querying a particular target here. And um, we're also using just a list of possible users. And we're scanning this thing. And we have found three email recipients by doing that enumeration against that SMTP service. Here's an example of using Nmap for enumeration. So right here, um, you, I hope you remember some of your Nmap commands. If not, you'll want to go back. This is using SMB enum users uh, Nmap script here. And so we are talking to 445, which is the um, SMB file, or the file and print SMB, well, Microsoft file and print, uh, SMB a port. And um, whether or not this thing is a Microsoft machine or not, um, if it's running SMB or the Samba service, it's probably going to be listening on this. And when we do the, uh, when we run this script, we can see that um, it comes back and it says, OK, we, we spoke to this port. That's fine. And the results are that we were able to find this user called administrator. Its relative ID is 500, which, of course, we expect. And there's a little description, and there's a little bit of, about it. Um, then we found this user guest with its relative ID 501, which is expected from Microsoft. And then we can see that from this one, oh, this one's account is disabled. It's a normal user. Password does not look like it's required. Uh, then we can come over here, and we see that there is a group here. Or actually, it's a um, not a group. It's a hidden user, home group user. It's the first one with a relative ID of 1,001. You know, with Microsoft, anything above 1,000 is user created. So we can see that it's a built-in account for the home group. And it's a normal user. Password does not expire. So we can see some um, uh, policy here. Password required. Password not, does not expire. We see another user account here. Called, the user name is actually user. And it's the next user, uh, RID1002 normal user, password not required, etc. So this is just an example. And we didn't even log in to run this script. I mean, there's no, we, we didn't log in or anything. We just ran it, and we got information already. Now, where this is significant is I know that they did not rename the user account. So I know it's administrator right there. I also know that there are some other user accounts that I can try uh, to see if um, I can't get in as administrator. Maybe if I can get in as one of these, I can then escalate privilege to become the user. I can see here that only the guest is disabled. Oh, no, I can see administrator is disabled. So aha, that means that since the admin's disabled, I'm going to need to get in as one of these normal users and then try to escalate privilege. So there are loads of services that you can query and with all their ports for enumeration. Now, you should know these port numbers from Network Plus already. I mean, you should already have a very good handle on Network Plus for these kinds of things. But in case it's been a while, let's just review real quick. So none of these ports are a surprise. We can see that we have SMTP, TCP 25, DNS, TCP, and UDP 53. Uh, the Microsoft um, Endpoint Mapper RPC, um, Remote Procedure Call for uh, TCP-135. NetBIOS 137, 139. Um, SNMP UD, uh, is UDP 161. And then when the um, agents send an alert, what we call a trap, that's uh, UDP 162. They say it can be TCP, but we're not using that. We don't use that right now. Uh, if you're talking to Microsoft Active Directory, LDAP, it is TCP 389. Um, 
SMB over TCP, 445. That's the one that most people are using now. Global Catalog, um, UDP and TCP, 3268. Global Catalog is, is like so you can, you can query everybody out of a directory service, like for email or for Active Directory. So those are the most common services we can use for enumeration. Now let's take a look at some techniques.